Greetings everyone. My name is Fahad Rashid. I am your instructor for this course which is Building Information Modeling. Then the software that we are using in these tutorials will be primarily based on Autodesk Revit. Before diving into the lectures, a brief intro about myself. I am a civil engineer. I did my bachelor's of civil engineering from UTP Shower in 2021 and afterwards I continued my master's in structural engineering which I just completed. And during this time period when I was studying my bachelor's, my master's, I, I used this software order as Revit for more than five years now and have tremendous expertise in this era, which I'll be transferring to you guys. And I'll be showing you guys how you can create a project from start to finish in a professional manner. So by gaining this expertise, you will not only be remarkably welcomed in well, well and reputed organizations but also uh, gain multiple projects on your own if you if you want to work as an independent contractor it's a valuable skill that will be beneficial for you in every aspect of your life so in this first lesson i'll be showing you guys how you can download autodesk Revit for free without any crack or any other stuff it's totally free uh, freely available on autodesk website all you need is your personal UTP shower card, student card, or if you're from any other organization, you can just have your student card and can register for Autodesk Revit straight away for one year licensing. So let's get started. You first have to go to the Google Chrome and type autodesk.com. Now over here you can see that uh, this website has a lot of things you can visit it uh, one by one but I'll directly go on to the sign in uh, sign in bar so you can click on the sign in and it will uh, it will load the account for you now I have already registered my YouTube shower account on this uh, website but if you don't have any account you have to create one click on create account and enter your information your name your email address your confirmation email uh, again you have to write your email and in the end you have to write a password which only you would know and you have to create account in the next step uh, they will be asking you if you are a student then you will going to be checking that box and you will upload your student card and you will get the student version of Autodesk account so afterwards when you have created that account what you will do is you will log in to you with your uh, YouTube shower or your organization or university pa uh, university email address so I'll type in mine pwciv4852 at the rate YouTube shower shower dot edu dot pk click on next and I'll add the password and click on sign in. <clears throat> so over here you can see that I'm now logged into my account and if you want to download the latest version of Autodesk Revit click on this icon over here click on product services product and services and it will pop up a new page for you what you have to do is you have to the, okay so over here you can see all of the uh, information about your billing your subscription and other stuff if you are registered as student you don't have to go through any of this stuff you just have to search for the product that you are interested in so I'll type rabbit in this section and click on Revit. So we have our Revit software over here. Click on this. Now you can see that there are multiple versions of Autodesk Revit available. And what I like to do is I, I will go with the latest version of Autodesk Revit. One thing you have to be very clear about in your mind is that if you download Autodesk 2025 version and if uh, if you want to downgrade, like if you created a model in 2025 for the Revit and you want to open it in Autodesk 20 Revit 2024, you won't be able to open that account, open that file in that previous version because 
you can upgrade the model but you can't downgrade the model so if if you're having some team members if you're having some friends and uh, you should recommend them to go with the latest version of autodesk and by that way there will be no issues running the software between yourself so click on revit 2025 already they we will keep it default and click on download now there are some other things that you have also have to check uh, if if you need them if you have already installed autodesk 2020 uh, 2024 you will update this from here but if you don't have any any of that then you have to uh, go with the, this option so click on install click on accept and it's it will download a, a short file uh, an installer file for you So this is the uh, this is the Revit version installed. You you will double click on it and it will download all the necessary files for you. Over here there are some other features that you can avail for uh, this Revit for this Revit. So you you also have to download this lighting analysis for Revit. Click on this download. You also have to download the solar analysis for Revit. You also have to download this feature. You also have to download the inside feature. And uh, this is this should also be downloaded. This is Revit Personal Accelerator. So if your computer has some graphics like Intel graphics or NVIDIA graphic card, you can use this feature and it will boost the productivity of your software. You can easily navigate into the UI of Revit and it will be very very beneficial for you guys it will be very very smooth to run the software throughout so you have just have to whatever you feel is important i have suggested you which are compulsory but if you're interested in other features you can download it manually and the last thing what you have to do is click on libraries so over here revit has defined some pre-built libraries and what what do we mean by libraries Libraries are basically uh, pre-built doors, pre-built windows, and pre-built other fixtures, equipments that Autodesk Revit provides. So you can see over here we have like uh, files of 1 GB, 3, 8, 90 MB and others. But the one that I recommend is go with the US English content and download this one. okay so it's downloading yeah so after installing the first file which is autodesk revit you will run this file and the software will be downloaded once that software is downloaded then you are going to click on this library file and you're going to install it uh, afterwards after installing this software completely and with all of the features that i have recommended we are going to continue with the revit uh, software so i have personally downloaded revit 20, 2024 and if you're willing you can go with revit 2024 and if you want uh, the newer version go with that uh, there's no difference in them in these two softwares click on revit 2024 and we'll see that uh, the software is properly installed it takes some time to open the software and once you install the software it will ask you about the license so if you don't have the license key uh, it you can just uh, click on uh, the below icon which which has sign in with autodesk id student id click on that icon and sign in with the credentials that you used earlier to create the account so click on those icons and it will create the uh, it will log into the it will help you log into the profile very easily and you can you will have the access to level 24 com 2024 completely okay so the software just opened up and it usually takes some time in the beginning to open the software but once 
you see this UI uh, graphic user interface of Rabbit, you will see, you will notice that the account which you have uh, logged in from Autodesk it will appear on on this section, and over here you can see click on account details and it will yeah it will uh, <clears throat> it will give you the details of which account you have logged in from and other parameters you can check that stuff yourself. So this is the Rabbit 2024 installed for your computer. If you have any issues or something like that, you can directly reach out to me on my personal email address, which is uh, which is uh, the same YouTube shower once 17 pwciv 4852 at the YouTube shower So yeah, if you feel any confusion or any issue with that, let me know. I'll create a video on that as well. And thank you so much. In the next lecture, we'll be learning about this, uh, the user interface of Revit software and how you can create walls, roofs, and other parameters in Revit. Uh, and alongside with that, we have, we have a project that will complete in this software from beginning till the end with complete construction drawings. So let's get started. And I hope it will be a really, really, potential learning for you guys thank you so much goodbye